Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to jump on here real quick just to do a follow-up video um, to show you guys what I actually found in that wooden bucket that I got for a dollar at the flea market that was in my last video. Originally, I bought the, bo or the bucket because I wanted the buttons on the bottom. What I didn't realize is how many buttons there really were. If you can see, this is completely full and it's a big box. <laughs> So that's a lot of buttons. And what I like too, um, a lot of the buttons still have the um, the thread in it. I don't know if you can see that. And that's what I like because when you're putting it in a journal, when it has a little thread, I sort of feel like it makes it look a little more kind of authentic feeling. But not only that, I found lots of other cool, cool things. Let me just take this down because I put some of the stuff on here. And on this side, um, put that over there. All right, so I also, why do I feel like I'm crooked? Am I crooked? No, okay. Um, I got, I found this, and I don't exactly know what this is. It's, well, actually, you know what? No, it says sewing and knitting gauge though I'm not really sure exactly what you do with it but that's okay it's cool and I found it so I have that then I have all these fun threads um, you know just random colors some of them are not old some of them are you know just regular threads and then a bunch of ones that are empty but they're the wooden spools so I like those I didn't throw those away I also have the um, thimbles, got those, so that was, let me put that aside, that was cool to find. Then I also, there were pin cushions in there, there's this one right here, a little strawberry one, it still has a lot of pins in it, and then this is like a pin cushion too I'm thinking, it's like it's made of felt. And uh, you can stick the needles in there. Um, let's see. This I really like. Oh, sorry about the reflection. So that's really cool. I found these, which I don't know what this is. Because it, I'm not, I mean, it goes, it says um, face and hand lotion. Um, Jones Products Company. 151 Vassal Lane, Cambridge, Mass. I don't know if they're still around. I have to look it up. But they probably went on to the lotion. I don't know, but they look a little bit older, so that's pretty cool. Then I have this one. It's just some screws, drapery screws, apparently. Um, I found these, which is really fun. These are like little knobs. I have this, Smokey the Bear. Prevent forest fires, and I, I'm thinking it's also a pin cushion, but I'm not sure. Maybe it's more of a like a key tag because, like, there's a little place there you could put your the key thing through, and then it would hang on your key keys. I don't know. Um, I found this really cute lock. Of course, there's no key to it, but it's really cool. And this really nice pin. It's I don't know. It's cool though. There's that. Um, what else? Oh, I found some of these. Rosa's Old New England Homemade Minced Meat. And then there's also a bunch of them, but they all got rolled up. So I'm going to have to see how I can unroll them. But that's really cool too. Those would work in junk journals. Um, I have a few like sewing type things. I think this is more like drapery stuff for drapes. And this here, this kind of looks like what you use to crochet with, but I'm not sure. I don't crochet, so I'm not really sure. And then there was a couple nice long pins, though I don't do anything with these, but I didn't want to throw them away because they're really cool. Oh, here's another one of those. Um, then, oh, also, I found a whole bunch of like little rusty paper clips, little tiny pins, 
don't know if you can see that. Um, I don't know what this is, but that was cool. Some threaders. So that I made a little box for those because those will be nice to use on a journal. And then there's a whole bunch of these. And I'm assuming it has to do with some kind of drapes or something. And I don't know what these are. I mean, these ones here are plastic. This is metal. This is metal. So they're a combination of like plastic and metal. And they all kind of look the same. And I have tons of them. But I don't exactly know what they are. I'm thinking they're for hanging curtains or looping curtains through but if somebody knows if you could please let me know because I don't really know what I'm going to do with all of these <laughs> and then the last thing is all of these pins these are all little teeny tiny pins I had to separate oops there's a button in there oh. but I had to separate all the pins and there's some nails and some screws and tacks from everything it took me well over an hour it was the most tedious thing I ever ever did but these are all the pins so now it's pin free and I got some goodies along with the buttons which was what I really wanted I have a clean wooden bucket and I'm happy so it was definitely well worth the dollar that I paid for it even though I had to you know separate and clean everything it was definitely definitely worth it so i just thought i'd make a little follow-up video to show you guys what was actually all in the wooden bucket from the flea market so thanks so much for watching and i will see you in the next video bye